Hey guys, I'm in Walmart because I need to get some stuff for the week. Meal prep, some groceries, healthy stuff. So, I am in Walmart. This is such an unflattering angle. But whatever. So, yeah, I need to get some kale, some more fruit, some more water. And, yeah. All right, guys, I'm back home after getting all the groceries. Now I'm about to cook up all this food for the week. So I can, I have these, as I showed you guys in the store. So this should help because, because like I'm losing weight slowly, but I think I need to, the food is what, like, if I don't, I can't explain it. You have to, like, I don't even eat enough in a day. And then if I do eat, I don't know so but it helps when I do cook all the food up like good food now the chicken breast I just let that go you mean you plan your dinner plan my meals it helps me so, so hopefully this will help so why, why did the chicken breast go so quick? not forever just for this week because every time I cook it it be dry why don't you go ahead and get you some plant-based meat yeah I want to try my mom is plant is on a plant-based diet oh, though. Wait, almost vegan almost vegan yeah, almost right. vegan. So she tries to uh, help support you. Help me and my sister, which my sister is already small, but she still wants to be more healthy. Yeah, but, she still need to eat the right type of food. Yeah, so my mom is getting hip to like all this like um, plant-based meat and the meatless, the beefless beef, and all that kinds of stuff. But this week I'm gonna do shrimp and then. Uh, no, ground that, turkey. We got that, that uh, vegan meat. I know. Too. We have, let me show you guys. We have, this is what we got last week at Publix, which is the uh, Garden, Garden Beefless Ground Beef. So it's not beef. And you can make tacos, all kinds of stuff out of this. 18 grams of protein. Got to get that protein. I got some more fruit, guys. So, you know, in the mornings, I'll be making my little smoothies before I go to the gym. So, I got some more fruit. I got some more spinach. Don't forget, plenty of water. What's really neat. Yeah, I bought two jugs of water. Really, what I do, I try to drink, like, four of these. So, this is the second one. I try to drink four a day. And remember, people, eat plenty of fruit and vegetables. That's the key. Fruit and vegetables. All vegetables. Mom, I swear she didn't turn into a, um... Uh, hey, I'm going for a hundred. I have to live my life. All right. The only way to do that is you have. Oh, this is going great. Do you have any tips for me? The way it is, yeah, is pounds. you have to burn more calories than you exactly. eat in order to see a weight loss. If you just want to maintain that you can eat, like say you burned 800 calories and you don't want to eat over 800 calories, which I'll be doing, I think. Your body needs at least 1500. No, but. I mean, that's... If you go less than that, you're bound to lose weight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If your body is in a calorie deficit. But your body is burning off calories even while you're breathing. Just sitting down now, you're burning off one calorie per minute. But you move around and do things around the house. Like I told you, you're burning off more calories. Three to five calories or maybe ten calories per every time you stay in motion. But when you sit still, you're not burning really that much. But if you work out at the gym for a certain period of time, say, so, oh, mama did this and I did that. That was just that period of time you burned out that many calories. But if you come home and eat at the wrong time and the wrong type of food, you're going to put whatever you burn out right back on. See, guys, it's a working process because I have alarm set on my phone. So I don't eat. I try not to eat after 8 o'clock. It's just hard. Because if you ain't got no food cooked up and you before. Can, but you can nibble. You can, you can snack on stuff like peaches or watermelon or cantaloupe. Just get you some healthy food that's not going to give you many, much, many calories, <laughs> it's but gone. it's going to help you nutritionally at the same time. So you got to, you got to, you got to go, your diet has to be. It's really all in your mind. It's all about intellectual. If you think smart, you'll eat smart, and the next thing you know, that way to be off you before you know it. And remember, I lost from 211 to 187. So yeah, guys, my mom has lost like. I forgot to tell you, I told Rob numbers way that lost. Rob was going, what? So, guys, hey, me and my mom are at a car dealership. 
just browsing around because I'm about to graduate in December and I really want to get a Jeep, trade, yeah, everything. I think so. But also, I think my mom is kind of interested, maybe, in getting a different car than the car she has. That's nice. But like my mom was saying, so a lot of Jeeps are expensive. Like that one we just looked at is 37000 When I could get like a more luxury car for that price, you're really paying for the look of it because they don't really have no perks and cool stuff on the inside. But we'll see when that time comes. Maybe I can find one cheaper. That's kind of cool. It's like a hybrid. Like a car and a... Um, I like this. Do you see the inside? No, look at the inside. It's like peanut butter. This is nice. Really nice. Remember when I was obsessed with these? <laughs> that Mustang, remember? In middle, what, middle school, high school? Y'all, when I was in middle school slash high school, I was obsessed with the Mustang. I wanted my first car to be a Mustang GT. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> Right here. Oh yeah, Challenger. Here's this Toyota Highlander. Where? Right here. I like Highlanders. Okay, I like Highlanders. Last time I wanted to think so. Ooh, I like the inside again. I like this color. It's nice. Then it has more seats in the back. Uh, hey guys, um, so I've been out all day with my mom. We've just been kind of running around doing whatever. Okay, excuse this. This is a sweat stain. I literally just left the gym. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying. Whatever. So anyways, yeah, sometimes my mom likes to go to thrift stores. Go thrifting because you never know what you can find and you can just wash it or use it as your own or whatever anyways my camera is about to die so i'm going to show you guys what i got i actually went and got a few um it was 30 dollars even and i just got a few workout clothes i know you're probably thinking ill use workout clothes other people sweat but obviously i'm going to wash these dum dum so you know first i got these ankle bracelets and i thought these were kind of cute so and they come with a toe ring but i don't uh, i'm not into toe rings but yeah i thought those were cute and then i just like i said i got some workout clothes so first i got uh, 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 these adidas workout pants the three stripes and yeah they're the real adidas not the little Burlington Coat Factory. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. It's the real ones. And yeah, they're, as you can see, has Adidas logo. And um, yeah, these were like $4. So I got these to work out in. Excited. Yeah, they're the champion brand. These are some workout pants. And they look like this. I thought it has mesh on the ankle part or the bottom. And they're just black and striped. These were $4 as well. This, this looks and feels brand new. It's just a Adidas um, black dry fit like t-shirt or whatever. You can see, you feel me? We got the three stripes on the side as well. And I really like working out in dry fit clothing because I sweat a lot when I'm working out. Okay, I sweat. sweat. I really liked the material of them. They I, I like pants that'll kind of they're comfortable they're stretchy they're breathable but they're still kind of like fitted so they hold in all my jelly while i'm trying to run and walk I ain't shaking all over the place shake it like i saw shake <laughs> i think these are pants yeah they have a pocket for my little phone and yeah i'm actually about to go wash these right now but i just wanted to show you guys what i got when i went to goodwill and um yeah hey guys i thought we could have dinner together oh i really ain't got no eyebrows it's sad it's 7 44 i try not to eat past 8 p.m sometimes it's unrealistic it just depends you know what i have to do in a day or whatever but today we might be able to accomplish it y'all look how good this looks this looks really appetizing this is a uh, shrimp a blackened shrimp i just made on like a bed of a salad 
and then some fresh mango I just cut up and then some guacamole on the side and it looks really good yeah I just left the gym and whoo I pushed myself extra today so dip it in some of this guac I don't know what to say. The shrimp are really good. I did that. I tried to make blackened shrimp. Uh, but yeah, guys. So, honestly. Honestly. um, I hate that song. Girl, shut up. Honestly, like, I've been like. Y'all, I've been working, man. I've been working, right? I've been working. And honestly, I feel like it's not paying off, but. I'm just trying to stay positive and not quit because like I said, I've tried to lose weight 5 billion times and I always quit. So I'll never know what the final outcome is if I keep quitting. I'm just gonna, that's why I've just been keeping, keep going and keep going and hope, <laughs> like I was saying guys, like I don't really, like I think I'm getting like a little stronger every day as far as like fitness a little bit. But as far as like losing weight, I don't know. Like I'm not doing nothing wrong. Like. It's kind of hard because like you get on Instagram and I follow like all these fitness pages and you know to get motivation and inspiration and all that kinds of stuff. And like I'm seeing people like seven day progress and they didn't already lost three pounds. I'm like, dang, I've been stuck at this 10 pounds for a cool minute. But I do know everybody's body is different and I think I have like a solid weight. I'm just a solid person. I'm a little heavy. I'm a little hefty. And you know, I'm not in denial about that. But geez, I've been working my butt off. Literally. So... I don't know y'all, but I'm just gonna keep going because like I said, if I keep quitting, I'll never know what I can really accomplish. Who knows? Maybe a few months from now, I'm really out here in these streets looking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Body banging. You never know. That's why I have to keep going y'all. So like I'm eating much, much, much better. Like Y'all, I used to eat fast food legit every day. Like McDonald's, KFC, Chick-fil-A, Burger King, Taco Bell, like fast food, which is my go-to. Like I'm hungry, let me go get some fast food. I'm going to work, but I ain't ate yet, let me get a burger. I just got off work, I'm tired, ain't nothing open, let me get a burger. You know, so I've really cut that out completely. I've cut down on the sweets, y'all. I used to eat like, what are those ice creams? Is it a pint? Is it a, a quarter of a pint? I don't know, quart, I don't know, the little ice creams. I used to eat one like almost every night, cookies and cream, Ben and Jerry's, brownies. Ooh, a mess. Jesus. So I know, like, I did this to myself, you know. I put all this weight on me, so I know it's going to take a while to get it all off. So. All right, guys. I'm about to go to Atlanta and go out with my friends. We do this all the time. We drive from Columbus to Atlanta and just go out and have fun or whatever. And then we drive back. This is the look I did. I made it. I'm a little sweaty right now. I'm a little hot. But I did a whole transformation video. So you guys should be expecting that soon on my channel. If it's not up already, make sure you check that out. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing, guys. This is like my signature look. Like one of these like button up shirts or a jacket falling off the shoulder. And I just have on these uh, graffiti. I mean, giraffe print forces and then these leggings what I really want to wear is this jacket because it's so cute with this outfit but it's hot I'm gonna bring it anyway and see what my friends say And then T, and then Rasan. We're actually in Rasan's brand new apartment, and it looks so nice, guys. So this is it. I don't know if he wants y'all to know where he lives, but it's really nice. Like this is the bathroom, and then what's the year? This is my. This is Rasan's. Um. Ooh. He just got this apartment by himself in Atlanta because he goes to Georgia State, and so this is where he's going to be living, I guess, forever. I guess our bond is broken, but this is nice. I like this, but congrats, congrats, congrats. This 
Oh, about 52? Say hey, Ashley, to my vlog. Vlog it, vlog. Nice little, you know what I'm saying? This is so nice, Raekwon. What? Oh, that island for sure. Hey guys, it's 12 a.m. It's June 30th. I'm out of breath. I just got off work, but it is my sister's birthday. She's turning the big 27. Wow. Yeah, me and my sister are three years apart. I mean, four years apart. I'm 23. She's about to be 27. Well, she's 27 now, but I just got off work and I wanted to kind of make her room kind of cool when she first walks in. Literally just came up with this idea last minute. So I have balloons on the floor and I'm trying to hang up this happy birthday sign. So I had my mom tell her to go get her something to eat from um del taco so yeah i'm really trying to hurry up guys <sighs> i gotta pee so bad don't mind this nose ring it's fake i'm just trying to test the waters and figure out if do i really want to get this piercing or not but yeah guys that's what's going on right now So guys, we have the app, not the app, but the security system where we can like, we have the camera so I can see when she pulls up. Thank God. So I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to blow up some more balloons. That's in Spanish. Feliz cumpleaños to you. Feliz cumpleaños y tú. Feliz cumpleaños y tú. I'm going to act like you know Spanish, but... Uh, oh. We all know I failed Spanish, but I know how to say happy birthday. This is really cute. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, what a wish at. I believe in prayer, not wishes. Ooh, come on, Jesus. Can you take <laughs> the cupcake? Hey guys, so I told you guys this day it was birthday, so we in Atlanta with my fake nose ring. It's my sister's birthday. I'm 27. Yeah, she just turned 27. Everybody tells her she looks like she's 19. Whatever. Everybody always think I'm the oldest. Okay. We're going to see what that is when we're about 50. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we're at Juicy Crab. This is where Dayel wanted to come. I got crab legs, potatoes, shrimp, corn. She got the same thing. They got mussels. But we're pretty much done. We got scared to go, but we're just waiting on the bill. And I think they're going to sing Happy Birthday. I think. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday. Hey guys, so we're back from Atlanta, back home, and it's the end of the night. Dale's birthday came to a conclusion. Now we're just watching, uh, about to watch the new episode of the Kardashians when y'all know the whole Jordan, Tristan, Chloe situation. What do y'all think about it? Who sides y'all on for real? But yeah, I'm about to um, take this makeup off and call it a night. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please, Jesus. I'll see you guys in my next video.